There's an old Buddhist parable that tells the story of a young woman who gives birth to a beautiful baby girl, but after only a few weeks, the child dies and the woman is distraught. She wraps the child's body in linen and then she wraps that body to her room and she goes in search of someone, of anyone who could help resuscitate her child. She goes to faith healers and witch doctors and she talks to the tribal elders, but nobody can help. Finally, one of the elders says, no, it's rumored that high up in the mountains, away from everyone, there's a holy man who is so close to the divine, he can even raise the dead. Now, perhaps this is a myth, or maybe he's long since dead, but there's no one here who can help you. If you're that desperate, maybe you need to go in search of him. And so she does. She packs a few provisions and she goes up into the mountains to find him. After a few days, she comes across a small hut in the middle of nowhere beside a crystal clear lake. And she knocks on the door. After a couple of minutes, an old man comes to the door and she begins to weep. She says, I don't know if you're the one they talk about and I don't know if you can help, but my child is dead and I must have her back. Well, the old man takes pity on her and he says, I, I am the one you're looking for and I can help, but I need to concoct a potion and the potion requires ingredients. And one of those ingredients is a handful of mustard seeds taken from a home that has not been touched by the black sun of suffering that has scorched your life. Go down into the village, find me the mustard seeds and then return. And so she does. She goes down to the village and she goes from house to house, but she cannot find one family that has not been touched by suffering, death and loss. Yet as she listens to the stories of other people's suffering, and as she's able to speak of her own, she gradually comes to terms with the loss of her child and is able to bury her in the earth. What I love about this story is that the woman represents something of us all. We all want to run away from death, from the realization of our own death, and the loss of those that we love. All of us find mourning difficult. We would prefer to forget rather than remember and feel the grief. Well, the old man doesn't offer some miracle cure to say, I can make everything great. But neither does he send her away without hope. Instead, he creates a space where she is able to hear other people's stories of suffering, where she's able to speak her own until she is able to mourn and finally able to let her child go. We all want to escape our suffering and our difficulties. It's natural, but if we want to find freedom and love and joy and a new life, we need to learn how to speak those things, how to testify to those parts of our lives. And we need to learn how to bear witness to other people's struggles and sufferings. Not providing answers, but providing a listening ear. And as we do that, we can learn what it might be to truly live before we die.